So, at this point, I'm sure most of you have actually caught the trailer for the next installment of the Call of Duty franchise, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, the developer working on this game happens to be the developer that also worked on two of the games that I personally have felt have been the most lacking in quality and or boring iterations of Call of Duty in the past, which has been Modern Warfare 3 and Ghosts. Like I stated, they worked on some of the most bland Call of Duties for me. I wasn't really too big a fan of Modern Warfare 3. I did like Face Off. That's all I have to say that's nice about it. The only campaign I feel like was not as good as, you know, previous Call of Duty campaigns would have to be Ghosts. Something about it felt fairly lacking. You know, it didn't have the same action, the same contents, the same betrayal that you'd see in the Modern Warfare franchise developed by Infinity Ward. So I felt like it was really lacking. Of course, it leaves you with that cliffhanger at the end. And of course, there's going to be a sequel because, I mean, they can't just end like that. Of course, they're not going to release a campaign DLC because they don't do that kind of thing. It's only multiplayer, strictly multiplayer. So, of course, it's going to be a sequel. Uh, I don't know how much support they're going to get for the sequel, though, because I don't think a lot of people really enjoyed the game itself. I, every time I go anywhere, I hear Call of Duty Ghosts is the worst iteration. Then again, I hear that basically every single new Call of Duty that comes out. So, we can only wait and see. I actually do think that Advanced Warfare is going to make bank compared to previous games because, I mean, you've only seen m the games constantly rack up more and more money each time a new one comes out. So I can only assume Advanced Warfare is going to make a lot of money, especially considering it's on all platforms, I believe. I have no confirmation of this. I'm just going off an assumption and a hunch and considering Ghost was on all platforms, besides maybe the portable ones. So... Yeah, I think it's going to make a lot of money. It looks good. In my honest opinion, it does look good. The graphics look substantially better than Ghost. Uh, it has a very unique and different feel to it. Just from looking at the gameplay, it looks like a completely different thing. For the first time, they're actually using a real actor portrayed in the game. Uh, most likely a large playing a large role in this game and it's modeled to look like the actor in real life so that's pretty unique uh, they have a bunch of different things I'd say this closely resembles Battlefield 2142 just with the futuristic aspect and because it's for, it's the only other first-person shooter set in the future with these kind of mechanical drones that I can think of you know it's got a lot of really really interesting concepts it has some things that we haven't seen before as well as some heavy use of vehicles in this game the last game to actually feature vehicles online was world at war so if we see a return of vehicles i'd be very happy because i personally love the feeling of war and no war is complete without actual vehicles to shoot the shit out of everyone with and if you actually look at the entire video you see an interesting concept of a tank with you know spider like robotic legs with treads at the end which really reminds me of Ghost in the Shell you know it, they have those bots there and that's probably the closest resemblance I can make between the two if they respond and work the same way that's interesting I, I do love the future aspect because we've seen modern and past the only iteration of future warfare was in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and to be far uh, to be completely honest 2025 isn't that far off and it wasn't very futuristic to many of us so this definitely offers a lot of interesting aspects and one and two three things that I noticed as well was the railgun that it fires it looks awesome there seems to be a shield that they deploy that resembles some sort of, of tennis ball net where they place the poles adjacent to each other and everything in the center is basically gonna block bullets which was pretty interesting I don't know if this will carry on to multiplayer as well but if it does that could implement some sort of unique team tactics you aren't just gonna be running around like lone soldiers anymore you're actually gonna be counting on your teammates to 
you know, drop the shield for you because, of, as it were, it looked like it needed two people to deploy it and one people to fight, be behind and one person behind it to actually be protected. I assume two people could deploy it and both of them could be behind it at any point. So, again, that looks pretty cool. Of course, you got the mech suits, which look really badass. I don't know if that'll be some sort of juggernaut kill streak in online, but it definitely would look awesome if you could become one of those things with a deployable Gatling gun. That is pretty cool. The invisibility we've seen before in Black Ops 2. Uh, I hope it doesn't make it online because holy shit, would that be a bad idea? We already have enough people camping at points to try to get a quad when someone walks, someone's team walks over to try to capture the point. If they can go invisible, they'll be invisible the entire game for several games, just waiting for that perfect montage moment. So hopefully it stays offline like it did in Black Ops 2. You have infrared kind of devices that you see at one point. Now, I, I'm a fan of Blackbird or Orbital VSAT. I absolutely despise the Oracle because it's a support kill streak that you can earn without any actual effort besides a couple kills, and it'll basically detect and let your entire enemy see people through walls, which I believe is just overpowered and unfair to those who are actually doing good because suddenly they are freaking being stalked around walls. So, if there is going to be an inter an iteration of that let it be UAVs such as blackbirds or infrared detections that let you see people momentarily through walls I think black ops 2 did it well if you have to see people through walls let them see them through walls only through short distances and through a small sight not through the entire screen there also seems to be a light net at one point where you see a grid on the ground. I presume it can be used to detect several things such as players path as footsteps could show up, maybe mines and or weapons. I believe this would be a pretty interesting use of technology in the future as it would help you be protected. <clears throat> of course we see among the vehicles we I've already spoken about spider tanks and drones I want to go ahead and talk about the hover bikes because this is something I would love to see in this game and frankly I would have loved to see in Black Ops 2. If you recall Black Ops 2 is a mission where you are trying to rush to a certain point. You are in a vehicle, you are getting chased by several things trying to kill you. Now I thought, you know what it would be cool if you make a race out of it in multiplayer. Several people in several different vehicles, each with their own gunner, and you're basically trying to make it to the finish and survive. While everyone is doing the same thing, you're going to end up having a quite a struggle. You see hover bikes here. And one thing I love about Halo is the fact that they allow content creators to create content. They allow you to create things using forge mode. Now, I would love to see this in this game. Maybe not so much making maps, but at least being able to create races with hover bikes. Or, at the least have it as an actual mode because I would love to use my hover bike and race people online granted this is a first person shooter and not a racer but it'd be a nice bit of fun it could go into the gun game section or the special modes also a little nod I'd like to make to the uh, game itself is I hope they include theater mode because as a content creator theater mode is a godsend and the fact that they didn't release it for Ghosts is very depressing. I also run top 5 plays, and I know getting clips is very difficult. And uh, the ability to record your clips and save them and come back later, even if you don't have a PVR, and then upload them to YouTube, just streamlines the entire process. I know on Wii U we couldn't actually upload to YouTube, which was sort of unfortunate, but at least you still have the clip and you can eventually get someone to most likely record it for you. So I'm hoping that in, in this future we see a bright future by the way for the Wii U with actual theater mode and YouTube implementation. I know Black Ops did it first and they did it great even though it was a beta. Modern Warfare 3 they did a horrible job just absolutely horrible. It was laggy it just was it was terrible and that was Infinity Ward's finalized version and of course Black Ops 2 did it even better with live streaming options and all this codcasting features. 
and then Ghost, they never released it because I think Infinity Ward said they didn't want to. It's probably for the best. We saw the job you did in Modern Warfare 3 theater mode. It's You shouldn't try theater mode at all, ever. You're terrible at it. Anyways, though, that's just my thoughts on the trailer and what I hope to see in the actual game when it's released. If you guys have any thoughts on what you saw or any ideas you want to see implemented, feel free to share them in the comments section below. I appreciate to hear your feedback. Thank you guys for watching.